the beautiful Kendra G. What you got for us, Kendra? What you got for us? Hi, Kendra! Hi, boo. You got better life, baby. Let me see. Maybe it's just me. What's your name, sweetheart? It's better. Ooh, that might be better. Shoot. It could be sometimes because of my light. Whoa. My ring light is so bright that in the moment. God damn. She looks like a cartoon that a blind kid drew. Like, the fuck is that on her face? This whole bon bonnet thing. It's not cute, man. Don't do it. I know you're home and all that stuff, but you're going on a Zoom call with somebody. Take it off. The little floppy eyelashes. What's all that about? Come on, man. It's an older lady, man. Come on. At what age are they going to start dressing right and acting right? You see why older men go for younger women? That they can mold? That they can teach stuff? Because when they get to a certain age, when this woman gets to a certain age, they're gone. You can't teach them nothing. They're far gone. Just leave them, let, let them be. That's why they hate when all these men go for younger women. Oh, man. It's and you got to excuse my bunny, Kendra. It's, it's nighttime where I am. Okay, hold on. My paper fell. Give me one second. Okay, me, love. I can tell you about to be a wallet. Ah! What the fuck is that? Hold on. My paper fell. Give me one second. Okay, me, love. I can tell you about to be Oh, hell no. That's an automatic disqualification right there. Well, look at those. The Freddy Krueger things. What, 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 what's all that? She's in full costume. It's nighttime where you're at. You're going to bed like this? What is going on? Be a ball of energy. What's yes, your name? Ma'am. What's your name, honey? I'm Diamond from off of Facebook. Everybody knows me. Everybody knows you on Facebook? Yes, ma'am. Diamond, where are you calling me from? I'm in New York right now. Is that where you live? Yes. I'm from Birmingham, Alabama, though. Okay. What part of New York do you live in? I'm in Jamestown. Jamestown. Do you have any children, Diamond? I got six Kendra. Six kids. How old are your kids, Diamond? 26, 23, 20, 15, 9, and 6. 9 and 6. How old are you, Diamond? I'm 44. 44. Have you ever been married? 44. I'm married right now, but I'm... What? I'm, I'm separated. My husband is a cheater. How many, how many children's dads do you have? Just one? I got six, Kendra. I gave every man I love the baby. So you have six children by six men? Yes, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Hell no. Hell no. 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 What? What she say? She's she's forty four or something. You've got six kids by six different men, and you saying your husband is a cheater. You trying to leave your husband? You better hold on to him, cheating and all. Hold on to that nigga. Who's gonna deal with this? You are old. Too many kids from too many men. That's too much drama. And you dress like a hooker. You don't know how to dress your age at forty something. Who wants this? Who wants to deal with this? These women are delusional. The entitlement of these women is mind-boggling. Who wants to deal with this? The West. The West. In other parts of the world, man. Women like this wouldn't even show your face in public. Ha! Are you married to one of their fathers right now? No, no. Hell to the now. Okay. So this man married you with all these kids from all these men. And he didn't even give him any kids. So he doesn't have any child with you, but you're there with all the baggage of other men. And you're worried about, oh, he's a cheater. Man, you better, better shut your mouth there. Okay, so you have six children by six men, and you're married to a different man. That's right. And how long have you been married to this man for? Um, For six years. Well, you have a six-year-old. That's right. He Is came this real? Is this for real? I'm in the picture as soon as I had my son. You must got some fire vagina. I got some good cool accountants, Miss Kendra. It's good. <laughs> I'm telling you. What the fuck? <laughs> Look, I've been trying to get in your show for like six months, baby. All the women out here, if you're watching this from another part of the world, right? And you wonder why this bunch of Americans are over in your country. <laughs> This is why. This is what they have to deal with. What? What? But now I got to 
gotta get to this. How long have you been separated before? Because you're technically married. I've been family. separated now for about um, almost two years. So what's taking so long for you to be divorced? Um, I don't want to pay for it, Kendra. I feel like I'm I'm giving him a way out. I feel like he need to pay for the divorce. Or well, if a man, if I meet if I meet a guy, you know what I'm saying, and he really want to, you know, be with me, we'll handle that then. But I is she dating a crackhead or something? Because I'm trying to think, what man in the right mind would date her? It has to be a crackhead. I'll just say it. I'll just go out on a limb and say it. I think she's dating a crackhead. She kind of looks like a crackhead too. Like the Bible say, can two walk together unless they agree? Birds of same feather flock together, man. Crackhead dating a crackhead. It's a it's crackhead couples. A bunch of crackhead babies. I ain't really into all that marriage stuff no more. So, you know, I got, I got to think about this, Diamond, because I talk about this all the time. Married people coming on the show. And, and I know. Like, I love the Lord. I be listening to you. I know God will whoop my tail for that. Eventually, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a get it together. So, you're saying you're going to stay married. You haven't got it together at 44. You're not going to get it together. It's, it's over for you. Until you meet a man worth getting a divorce? What's wrong with that, Kendra? Well, how are you going to meet a man worth getting a divorce if you're still married? Because it might, you being married is probably going to turn some good men off. No, he going to understand. That's where the conversation come in at. So what's the conversation? He going to understand. That's where the conversation come in at. You see the entitlement. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. I can't. I can't. I can't. So what's the explanation of how that makes sense? The conversation is going to be, as long as he's going to be consistent and he's going to be there, you know what I'm talking about? As long as he ain't gonna play no games. No, I'm talking about. As long as he ain't gonna play no games, as long as he ain't gonna be there. You're making all these demands. You have all these conditions. And you're pretty much a product that's past its sell by date. They don't even put you on the shelf no more. You're back at the mall in, in, the, in, the, in the bins, in the trash. Homeless people go through the, through the trash behind the supermarkets and take the, the, the expired food. That's your option right now. No man of substance is going to have you. It's harsh, but it's the truth. You're done. I go ahead and do it. I don't have no problem with getting one now. Okay, so, and what do you do for a living, Diamond? Um, I sit on my ass right now, Miss Kendra. You hear me? Because, um, me, ma'am, I, you know, I'm a Facebook little celebrity. You know what I'm talking about? So Facebook handle me. Oh, so you're a Facebooker? Yes, ma'am. You're a Facebooker. Okay. So that's how you, so that's how you pay your bills? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Diamond, um, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Taurus like you, me, ma'am. When's your birthday? What? What's me, ma'am? April the 26th. What's that? Tor me meow. What's a me meow? What's that? Okay. So let's do this, Diamond. Diamond is married. She's going to get a divorce because she don't want to pay for it herself, but she will get it if she meets a man that is worth That's it. A big so if. what kind of man are you looking for, Diamond Girl? Oh. I'm looking for one that um that's not going to lie, somebody that's going to be consistent, Um, that's going to be... um compassionate about my past because I got an extensive past, Miss Kendra. Understandable. You know, it's a hell of a past, you know what I'm talking about? So somebody that's going to be understanding and, you know, just God-fearing. I love the Lord. He got to love the Lord, Miss Kendra. He got to love the Lord. Um, You have any deal breakers? Yes. Thank you for asking me that. I don't want nobody with no stank breath. Oh, you Lord. hear me? I've been meeting people with a whole lot of holotosis, Miss Kendra. Um, I know I got a gap right here, right there like that. But I don't want nobody that, that don't have no teeth that's in their mouth. You know what I'm talking about? Um, I don't do stank feet because me intend to come, you know, over to my house, you know, when I was dating with functified feet, Miss Kendra. And um, I don't want nobody that smell like a wooden nickel. You hear me? They got this, they got to have some cologne going on. You know, you you gotta give me something that make me wanna eat you up or suck something. You know what I'm talking about? So yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. That right there. And they gotta have that appearance. I don't want no um no wolf man jack. You know, cause I can get jiggy with it when I want to. So he can't be, you know, he gotta be up to par on his appearance. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> All this demand. All this demand. 
And, oh, <clears throat> it gets so entitled because men would sleep with them. A, a bunch of men out there would hit this. Well, because a man would hit this, doesn't mean he's going to wife this. And this woman conflict the two because they're sexually appealing to someone. Anything sexually appealing to a horny man, it doesn't mean he's going to wife you. And they think that's their value because someone will slip with them. That makes their value high. Because they could give a good BJ. That makes their value high. No. No. Well, six kids from six men. Your market value is non-existent. I'm sorry, bro. Parents and stuff like that. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, um, you gotta smell good so you can give them, so you can, so you'll be willing to. So I can, so I'm willing to hop up on it, me Kendra. She's just egging him on. This Kendra G is just egging him on, e egging her on. She's egging her on. This is good content. She's entertaining the diamond lady. She's entertaining. She looks like she's still on crack. That smell good. You hop up on it. It smells good. That's right. That's right. Um, okay, Diamond, what's the age range you would date, Diamond? Um, you know what? Them young boys is something else, Miss Kendra. And normally I would take me some down, but guess what? I think I'm um I'ma go from the age range to about I say 39 to about 54. Cause even in their 30s, they be kind of crazy, Miss Kendra. Okay. Okay. 39 to 54. Mm. Um, does he have to be in New York? Um, I would prefer if he be in the surrounding areas where I am. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Ohio, New York, and, you know, the surrounding Buffalo, you know. Okay. All right, Diamond. Um, does he got to make a certain amount of money? <clears throat> you know what? Let me tell you something. God always provides. He provides. I'm not looking for nobody that... Um, that um that they gotta take care of me, you know. I'm I'm really with that fifty fifty thing, you know what I'm saying? Because I can pull my you own. You have way. no choice. You know, um, as long as he make enough money to you know um do what he gotta do, and then if I need some of his, you know what I'm saying? He he can give me some of his too. I don't want no fat man with no big old belly, you know. They don't want you either. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. Um, Diamond, let's do the Kendra can. That's when we see your full body, Diamond. Okay, babe. Let me put let me let me put us up right oh, here in this red here. Let me put you in my ring light so you can check my little body out, me Kendra. You know, I'm still fine as wine to be 44 years old. You know what I'm talking about? Woo! 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 Oh, hell no. Them little titties might hang a little bit, but that's okay. They can pick them up and suck them, you can't. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Diamond, when was your last relationship, baby? Um, it's, it's the last relationship was since I left my husband. That was two years ago? Yeah. So you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Ooh. That was with that same fat man, McKendra, and he, ooh. So that was that was about I want to say about maybe six months ago. Six months ago. Yeah, that so kind of spoiled my appetite. Technically, you're not single. You married, but you've been separated for two years. But why do you think you're? I'm, I'm single because look, when he cheated Miss Kendra, the Bible tells you that I had all grounds to leave his tail. No. So that was my right. No. The that Bible was, says what, nothing. What scripture? Like... What part of that was in yeah, the Bible? Yeah. What Bible? What that scripture? That was in um, Diamondologist thirty four. And, and, and what did it say exactly? It says that when a man cheat on his wife because they was one, that he could have got his head bust to the white meat and that I got grounds to leave that ass immediately. And and, and that's in the book of Diamondologists. Yes, ma'am. That's, that's, there you have it. Do you have it? There you have it. We all need a copy of that book. Where can we get the Diamondologist version of the Bible? I will be writing my book real pretty soon, Miss. Miss, Miss Kim. Uh, nah, this is, what the, what the flip is this?